ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 today we have we will study the very popular and oft sung stotram and ashtakam called totakashtakam yeah? totakashtakam has eight verses and uh, composed by totakacharya no totakacharya in praise of whom of his guru shankara yeah and uh, you may have seen this group photograph you know adi shankaracharya with the four disciples does not mean shankara had only four disciples no thousands they must have had but there is this classic picture of four disciples who were they sureshwara acharya hastamal hastamalakacharya padmapada acharya and totaka acharya and all of them brilliant yeah sureshwara acharya you know was mandana mishra with whom shankara has this debate for many days and what is the topic of the debate which is uh, superior karma or gnanam <laughs> and after many days remember the garland fades on mandana mishra's uh, you know uh, neck and his own wife uma devi was the judge and uh, then he surrenders and becomes a shishya and uh, he is given the name sureshwar acharya he is the oldest and brilliant you no know? he writes many commentaries on shankara acharya's works then hastamalaka acharya we know as how you know uh, the child as a child itself he was born in a sahaja samadhi state but the parents think that there is something wrong why the child is not talking yeah and then when he is about 14 years old they bring him to acharya shankara was visiting their village and uh, he says posi you know who are you hey what's up and uh, the child uh, you know it narrates or chants that the stor- uh, the stotra 12 verses and they are known as hastamalaka stotram no nitya upalabdhi swarupo samatma that was the refrain there nitya upalabdhi swarupa aham i am ever in the state of anandam where is the need to speak <laughs> then that is the uh, great uh, hastamalaka acharya in fact on those uh, verses uh, acharya has written a bhashyam shankaracharya himself writing a bhashyam on the verses of his shishya then padmapada acharya is another great uh, scholar and with great devotion you know and the name comes because you know when the guru called him then he just uh, springs into the water and then at every step one lotus comes you know whether it's a true story or not we don't know but all this is very well documented in uh, the shringeri publication digvijaya shankara shankara digvijaya all these stories yeah and there's another story in which uh, you know once one uh, kapalika you know one kapalika who do you know ghor tapas <laughs> so he does the uh, tapas of bhairava so he approaches uh, shankara and says i have to offer a human head <laughs> as a bali to my bhairava can you give me your head <laughs> then shankara says yes yeah, no problem no it is anatma body and he is always nanandam but make sure my disciples don't get to know about this otherwise they will not spare you okay then uh, they meet at midnight you know and he is ready and padmapada acharya he already 
uh, you know, intuits this. And he comes on the spot and takes this Ugra Swarupa of Narasimha. And he just finishes off the Kapalika. <laughs> so it shows that all these uh, foremost disciples were brilliant in their own way. And today we are talking about uh, Totakacharya. Yeah? Now, Totakacharya in his Purvashrama, uh, his name is Giri. Yeah? And uh, Giri is a very simple, humble, um, you know, uh, average student. <laughs> average student, not so brilliant. Yeah? But he is also part of this Gurukulam where they are having uh, lessons on the Prakaranas or Upanishads by Adi Shankaracharya. No? And so one day when uh, Shankaracharya wants to start the class, uh, Totaka is not there, or rather Giri, no? before the name was given to him. Giri is absent. And then uh, Acharya waits. No? He waits and uh, then others, uh, you know, the senior disciples, they say, Bho Acharya, what are you waiting for? Please start the class. No, It does not matter whether Giri is here or not. <laughs> It is like this wall, you know. Uh, it is not going to penetrate his buddhi, you know. So, in their, uh, you know, opinion, Giri is a very uh, dull with it, manda buddhi. Yeah? And then Acharya looks at them <laughs> and he understands what's going on in their mind. And Acharya, like any guru, knows the mind of every student. Yeah? So, he does not say anything, keep quiet. Meanwhile, what is Guru uh, Giri doing? Giri is immersed in Guru Seva on the river bank, washing the clothes, vastram of his Guru. Yeah? And he had not noticed the class timing and he is uh, happily doing Guru Seva. Yeah? Then at that moment, Acharya, by his Sankalpa Shakti, blesses uh, Sotaka. And um, then in the movie also, there's a famous movie, uh, Shankaracharya. At that moment, he uh, downloads, you know, or floods uh, Giri's mind with all the Shastra knowledge. That is called Guru Kripa. You know? When there is true Guru Bhakti, which means true surrender, then that uh, Bhakti does the magic. And then he feels it, Sotaka, and he drops everything and he rushes back to the Kutya, where the class is about to start. And then he does a Dandavat pranam, and then he chants Vidita Kila Shastra Sudha Jalade Mahito Panishat Satita Thani De Hridaye Kalahi Vimalam Charanam Bhavasham Karade Shikame Charanam. And everybody is watching amazed. <laughs> Why? Because how does you know, this Mandabuddhi Giri could compose something like, you know, that amazing verses in praise of the Guru in this meter. So what is the meter? Sotaka meter, no? Sotaka meter means there will be 12 syllables per quarter, no? Vidita Kila Shastra Sudha Jalade. One quarter, 12. So like that, every line has 12, 12, 12, you know. And uh, not only that, but the Sotram has compounds. Vidita Kila Shastra Sudha Jaladhe is in Sambodhana. You know, He uh, Nidhe. And so it is a Samasa. What is a compound? Compound is many ideas are compacted into one word. We are going to see that word by word. We are going to decode every samasa, but they could not believe how this uh, uh, Giri or Totaka now can compose such a fantastic uh, stotram in praise of the Guru with samasas. And not only that, there is another special feature of Totakashtakam, which is two short syllables followed by a long. We, the, ta, he, la, sha, stra, Vidita Kila Shastra Sudha Jaladhe. He is long, remember? Diptong. Ma hi to pa ni shat. Like that. Ka hi ta tha ni dhe. Amazing. 
And so that is the glory of this Ashtakam. And uh, the Guru is so uh, pleased with his devotion that he names the Ashtakam after the Shishya himself, Totak Ashtakam. And uh, even the meter is named after the name. And he, the Giri, becomes now known as uh, Totakacharya. Huh? And that Totakacharya went on to compose an advanced text on Vedanta called Shruti Sara Samudharana. Very famous uh, text. Shruti Sara Samudharana. I think it has 170 or so uh, shlokas. And the last shloka of that is Bhupada Yascha Nabhi Vyada Sura Nelas Chandra Surya Ucha Netri. Where have we heard this? <laughs> Vishnu Sasunama in the Purva Bhaga is a Dhyana Shloka. So that shloka composed by uh, Totakacharya at the end of the Shruti Sara Samudharana has been integrated into Vishnu Sahasranama. So this is the glory of Totakacharya. So you see that, um, you know, Totakacharya represents the ideal Shishya with the purest Guru Bhakti. Yeah? Purest Guru Bhakti and which does the magic, the magic of transformation in the heart. And we are going to see, you know, all about this, um, this Totram now. Yeah. So let us dive into the Totram one by one. The first one is Vidita Kila Shastra Sudha Jaladhe Mahito Panishat Patita Arthanidhe Vridaye Kalaye Vimalam Charanam Bhava Shankarade Shikame Sharanam. Many tunes are there. <laughs> So here, the last quarter is the chorus. Bhava, Shankara, Deshika, Me, Sharanam. So here, Totaka is, uh, you know, addressing the Guru as Deshika. No? Deshika means the one who Upadishati. Dish, Dish means to direct. Disha, we have no direction. So, Yaha Upadishati, Saha, Deshika, GPS. The one who is going to navigate the jivas through the turns and stages of the jiva yatra is the guru. And the guru is addressed in Sambodhana here as He Deshika. Yeah? Now, who is the Deshika in this case? Shankara. So both these words are in Sambodhana. He Deshika, He Shankara. And Shankara is Shankaroti Iti Shankaraha. Sham means auspicious and mangalam. You know, today, if you are enjoying the mangalam of Sanatana Dharma, it is largely due to the impact and the effort of the great Shankaracharya. And we know Shankaracharya is an amsha of Shiva himself. No? So, hey Deshika, hey uh, Shankara, you know, you what? Bhava me sharanam. <laughs> Bhava me sharanam. Now, this bhava, you know, comes from which dhatu? <laughs> Bhu satayam, the first dhatu of Panini dhatu kosha. Now, that bhu can be understood in various contexts differently. Bhavati iti bhavaha, that which simply is the truth, pure existence, or satyam, brahma, lord, that is bhavaha. Then we have seen bhavasagraha, bhavarogaha, that which is becoming. Yeah, the ocean of Bhava Sagara is the second meaning of Bhava. Third meaning is what we're going to take now is the verb. Lot. Remember your Sanskritam? Bhava. Bhava means the Shishya is commanding the Guru. You be me Sharanam. You be my refuge. No? You be my teacher, my compass, my anchor. And you please teach me and navigate me out of this samsara. So bhava we are going to take here, not as a noun, bhavaha, but as the dhatu, verb, bhava. Huh? So you see how the shishya is commanding the guru, like a child will command the mother. Mother, you have to take care of me, you have to protect me. <laughs> and uh, that is the vatsalya between, you know, a humble shishya and the great yani guru. 
So that is the common uh, line in all the verses. Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. So the bhavana is uh, same as Sameva Mata, Chapita Sameva, Sameva Bandhu, Chasatha Sameva. Anyatha Sharanam Nasti, Sameva Sharanam Mama. So the total Sharanagati you can see of the Shishya. Now, the other words are going to describe the glory of the Guru. What is the first line? Vidita, Akhila, Shastra, Sudha, Jaladhe. Yeah? So in a compound, I've told you before, to understand its meaning, we have to decode it from right to left. So the last word is Jaladhe, which is Sambodhana. You know that. So the original Pratipadikam is Jaladhihi. Jaladhihi means what? Ocean. Yeah. Jaladhihi, the ocean. So you, oh my guru, you are Jaladhi, ocean, ocean of Sudha. Sudha means Amritam. Yes. Amritam, which is to be understood here as the liberating knowledge, essence. Essence of go one step back, Shastra. What Shastra? Akhila Shastra. All the scriptures. Whether they are primary Shruti, Agama Vedas or the secondary Shastras which are Smriti, Itihasa, Purana and Sutras. Yeah? So Akhila means without exception. Yeah? So uh, the truth and essence and the Amrita like knowledge of all the Shastras, you are the Jaladhi ocean. Yeah? And you vidita, you yena vidita saha. By you, it's all known. Yeah? That's why we say Shruti Smriti Purananam Alaya Karuna Alaya. We pray, no? Guru Vandana. So Shankara is praised as an Alaya of all the scriptures. No? Not only this, Mahabharata, you know, when you read the Bhashyam of Shankaracharya, how he will quote from the Dharma Shastras from Mahabharata, from, uh, you know, all these ancient texts without a laptop, without Google, without, you know, all these instruments. What a brilliant intellect. You know? So that is being praised here, that you are a repository of all this knowledge. You know? A walking encyclopedia is Shankaracharya. Hmm? Then uh, we see, uh, second line is, um, we are still in the first line, no? Yeah. Now, uh, okay, so Shankaracharya is an alaya, you know, a temple of all this knowledge. But what is the speciality? <laughs> speciality of Shankara is given in the second line. Mahita Upanisha Tatitar Tatita Artha Nidhe. Again, Zambodhana. So Nidhe will be Nidhi. So you are the treasure, the treasure of Tatita. All that has been. Uh, said or narrated, yeah, narrated where in the Mahan Upanishads, Mahita Upanishad Tatita Artha Nidhi. <laughs> you see, understood the compound, yeah. So you are the treasure of the Artha. Artha means the essence, the teachings revealed in the sacred and Mahan Upanishads. You know, I've told you many times how Shankaracharya has written uh, Bhashyam on the major Upanishads, 10 major Upanishads. You know? So when you read that, how meticulously he writes, you know, the word Upanishad itself, three pages devoted to Upa, Ni, Shad. <laughs> then every word of the mantra of the Upanishad, he will give synonyms and he will give an example. Then Shankaracharya will raise the Puravaksha. And imagined question, you know, opponent, why this meaning cannot be like this? Why it can, has, has to be like this? Then there will be Siddhanta also. He himself will resolve it, saying, no, look at the fallacy. This cannot be this way. It has to be this way. That is the speciality mentioned in the second line. Yeah. So the artha, you are the treasure of the uh, teachings of the Upanishads. Mahita Upanishad. Satita Artha Nidhi. So what? Third line. Hride Kalehe Vimalam Charanam. So I meditate on you. Where? Hride in my heart. 
Meditate on what? Vimanam Charanam. On the blemishless, pure feet. This is Totaka. Huh? I meditate on the feet. Now, uh, in our culture, I think only in our culture, the worship of the feet is very sacred. It's very naturally it comes to us. No? We touch the feet of elders. We do Pada Puja. Yeah, why? Because the feet are the lowest part of the body. And so there has to be a bending, which signifies humility and uh, surrender. No? And also we have seen in the Guru Padaka Stotram how the two feet represent para and apara vidya. So the feet represent the Brahma vidya. And uh, jnana meva moksha. So to receive the liberating knowledge, I bend and touch the feet of my Guru. Yeah? That is the idea here. Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. So, hey Guru, you be my anchor and uh, you direct my mind. I am completely surrendered to you and you are uh, my only refuge. So, the, the plea here, you know, the prayer is, uh, oh Guru, you know, uh, you see, one, a Guru cannot transform a Shishya by sight or by touch. No? Or physical transfer of knowledge, is it possible? No. So the last Bhava Shankara Desha Kameshwaranam means you teach me. You be my teacher and let me follow your footsteps. Yeah? So that is the, um, you know, the first uh, verse. Second. Karuna Varuna Laya Palaya Maam Bhava Sagar Dukha Vidu Nahridam Rachaya Hilada Shana Tatka Vidam Bhava Shankar Deshika Meshwaranam. Again, here the verb is Palaya Maam. Huh? Oh Guru, you protect me. <laughs> Palaya Maam. Huh? Why? Because you are Karuna Varuna Laya. Alaya means what? Repository. Like we have Pustakalayaha means library, collection of books. Devalayaha, temple. So here he addresses the Guru as Varunalayaha. Varunalaya means ocean. <laughs> Another word for jaladi. So you are an ocean of Karuna. Karuna, Varunalaya. Again, Sambodhana here. Hey, Karuna, Varunalaya, Palaya, Maam. You have to protect me. Yeah. Then... Who should be protected here? It's Shishya, obviously. <laughs> and that is described in the second line. Because Bhava Sagara Dukha Viduna Hridam. My Hridayam. You know, I am drowning in this Bhava Sagara. You know, Viduna means uh, afflicted, tossed. You know? In this Bhava Sagara, in the Dukha. Dukha Viduna Hridam. Tormented. Yeah. Then, um, yeah, so then how will the Guru protect the Shishya? Jnana Meva, no, by giving the Jnana Kavacham. So in the third line, uh, Totaka says, Rachaya, Rachaya Akhila Darshana Tattva Vidam. Rachaya means you make, you know, you uh, form me into a Tattva Vid. So Tattva Vid means? Tatvam janati, tatvam veti. So you make me wise. <laughs> Look at the humility here, no? You make me wise, O Guru. And uh, wise in what? Akhila darshanas. You know, there are the shat darshanas. Yeah? Uh, Sankhya, uh, uh, Purva Mimamsa, Vedanta, like that six darshanas. Uh, darshana means uh, philosophies, we can say. Yeah? Uh, how one pursues the truth or the goal of life, there are these Shad Darshanas. No? Shankaracharya actually dismisses all the Darshanas except Vedanta. <laughs> he actually points out the fallacy in every Darshana. No? Like Jainism, you know, they, they believe that uh, Atma is atomic. No? Then Sankhya, they believe there are many Atmas. There is one Atma in every Upadi. But what does Advaita say? One limitless uh, Atma conditioned by many Upadhis. You know, so, but here he is praying. Actually, you know, students of Vedanta in the north and maybe south of Bharat also, they study all the darshanas, the Tarka Shastra logic, 
in great detail. Vyakaranam definitely 12 years. <laughs> then you will have a good grasp of what is fallacious and what is the truth. And here he says, make me a tattravit rachaya akhila darshanas. You know? And here the darshanas uh, you know, means also all the shadangas, all the Vedic knowledge, Vyakaranam, Jyotisha, Kalpa, no? All this will settle the mind and uh, enable it to gain the Brahma Vidya. And as Mundaka says, Sarva Vidyam Pratishtham Jeshta Putraya Praha. No? How the Guru says that any Apara Vidya you take, Sanskritam, Grammar, Jyotish, they are all at best a stepping stone to bring you to the Brahma Vidya, Para Vidya. Yeah? That is the Sarva Vidya Pratishtha. That is the basis of every other Vidya. You know, you have to be there before you can start learning grammar. And that knowledge of who you really are is Para. So, Para Vidya is Param Jnanam. Okay. So, here he says, please be my teacher, you know, and remove this uh, Ajnana Avaranam, veil of ignorance that is clouding my intellect and uplift me with the knowledge, expand my mind. So that um, I will uh, know the truth of Jiva Jagat and Ishvara. Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. Be my teacher, you are my refuge. Okay. So let's move on to the third one. Bhavata Janata Suhita Bhavita Nijabodha Vicharana Charumati Salayeshwara Jiva Viveka Vidam. Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. Is it Suhita or Sukhita in your text? Huh. Both are okay. Yeah? Suhita means uh, the good hitam. Yeah? Well-being. And Sukhita also means well-being. <laughs> so, part of Veda. Here, uh, what does uh, Shankara Sotaka uh, say? Bhavata Janata Suhita Bhavita. Now, Bhavata is Bhavan Shabda Kritiya. By you. You know? Shishya is not going to say Tvam to the Guru, right? <laughs> Bhavan. You know? Bhavata. By you. By you what? Janata. Janata means Janta in Hindi. The whole humanity and mankind, Sukhita Bhavita, has become blessed. You know? They are well taken care of. Bhavata. Okay? Then, how they are well taken care of? Yeah? By the teaching, yeah, by the knowledge. The second line is Nija Bodha Vicharana Charu Mate. Again, Charu Mate is in Sambodhana. Okay, Charu Mate. No, what is the original word? Charu Matihi. Charu Matihi Yasya Saha. So the one who has a Charu Mati means whose intellect is Charu. Charu means brilliant. No? Brilliant or, you know, very sharp. Tikshna buddhi also it's called. Tikshna buddhi, charumati. So, Sambodhana is, hey, charumati. Your buddhi, you know, is so effective, so capable in doing what? Nija bodha vicharanam. Vicharanam is Vedanta vichara, analysis, nitya, anitya, vastu vivekaha. And about nija bodha. Nija bodha is? Exactly. Swarupa Jnanam, Tattva Bodha, Atma Bodha, Nija Bodha, all same. So that inquiry into the Chaitanya uh, Swarupa can only be done by you because you are a Charumati. Yeah. And so what? And so um, how, how will you bless me is his constant question. Sotakas, no? And the third line says... Uh, Kalaya, Kalaya, Ishvara, Jiva, Viveka, Vidam. Again, you make me, Kalaya is commanding the Guru, make me a Viveka Vid. Viveka Vid means the one who has discriminative knowledge. Knowledge of Brahma, Satyam, Jagan, Mithya, Nitya, Nitya, Vastu, Atma, Anatma. We have seen several, all of these prakriyas, Drik, Drishya. So, Kalaya. And here, the specific words taken is, uh, show me the, the nature of Jiva and Ishvara. 
Kalaya Ishara Jeeva Viveka Vidam. No? You make me such a jnani. Make me a knower. No? Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. You are my refuge, a guru. You know, so transform me and uh, bless me with your knowledge. Mam Kalaya. Yeah? Kalaya means transform me, shape me. Yeah? We have seen, you know, that example of how a guru is uh, like a sculptor. <laughs> no, sculptor who already sees the, uh, that pure, uh, shining, effulgent atma in all the shishyas. Yeah? But the shishya is, cannot see it yet. And Shishya comes crying to the Guru. Yeah? And the Guru is an Anandam. And so the Guru has to step down and then assume the problem of the Jiva and proceed to solve it. So the Guru is called Ahetuka Daya Sinduhu. The one who has compassion without a Karanam, really. You know, Guru can, does not need to step out of his, uh, you know, comfort zone, <laughs> Ananda Amritam. Yet, they will do that. And they will do that for a stranger also. You know, why do we help somebody in life, a suffering person? Shastra says, of course, we want to relieve the suffering of that person. But we also want to be free from suffering. <laughs> when I see a suffering person, I am pained. So I want to remove that pain and I give some donation or whatever. Then oh, I am relieved. But the Guru goes one step beyond. No? He will help anybody without any personal motive, without even the need. No? So that is all mentioned here. Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharana. Fourth one. Bhava eva bhavaniti me nitaram samajayata chetasi kautukita mama varaya moha maha jaladhim bhava shankara deshika me sharanam. Here, now the shishya, you know, he uh, gets uh, an insight into the guru. So far, he has seen the guru as an acharya, as a teacher you know, who uh, is uh, writing bhashyams and giving classes and illumining the mind. But now, you know, he sees the Guru as none other than Bhagavan. That's the first line. Bhavaha eva Bhavan. Now we will take the second meaning of Bhavaha, I told you. Bhavati iti Bhavaha. That which is the pure essence, Tattvam. Here it's not the verb. Because Sandhi has dropped, you should not take load. Bhavaha, put back the Sandhi. Bhavaha eva bhavan. You know, hey Guru, you are really Bhavaha. You know, and Nitaram. You know, constantly uh, you are um, Bhavaha. Yeah? So what he says is, I have discovered you as Bhavaha. And who is Bhavaha here? Shankaraha. Yeah. No? Remember, uh, the parents, Purvashrama parents, Aryamba and Shiva Guru had uh, prayed to Lord and then they were gifted with this uh, birth of Shankara. So now the Shishya declares, you know, that you are Shiva himself. And because of this discovery, what? Samajayata Chetasi Kautukita. In my Chetas, in my mind, there is Kautukita. What is Kautukita? Huh? Yeah. Thrill, joy, you know, I am discovering a joy and a thrill in my heart. Yeah. Samajayata means is born. In my chetas, this thrill and joy is born, you know, having uh, understood you as really Vishra himself. Yeah? You know, actually, this is how uh, Shishyas perceive their gurus. <laughs> you know, at one time in the Gurukulam, I would see Puja Swamiji. For us, he would be like Swamiji is like Hanumanji one day. Swamiji is like, you know, Parashakti who is protecting all of us. And Swamiji is an embodiment of Dharma. Ramaha Vigrahavan. And then Swamiji is so naughty at times like a Krishna. <laughs> so all these uh, Ishtadevitas we could see in the in our Guru. So same Bhavana Totaka is having. He is seeing his Guru as none other than, uh, you know, Shankara who has 
descended on the earth. Huh? The one who is Satyam Shivam Sundaram. Yeah? Then what? Mama Varaya Moha Maha Jala Dhim. So now, um, Sotaka has uh, described uh, Guru as an ocean. Now he's describing that I am also in an ocean, <laughs> but this ocean is Moha, Moha Sagara. Now I am drowning in this ocean of Moha Maha Jaladhim. So what should you do? Mama Varaya. Kalavari <laughs> Uttal. You know, in Tamil, you know, same, same meaning. <laughs> Varya means you remove, wipe it out, you know, wipe it out from my life. What? Moha, Maha, Jala, Dhim. Yeah. Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. Yeah. And by being my guru, you know, how will the guru wipe out this uh, Moha? <laughs> By knowledge, knowledge alone. You know, when the Shishya understands and sees what the Guru sees, the Mithyatvam of the Jagat and the Satyatvam of Brahma, then Bhavasagar Sabasukha Gaya Hai Fikaranahi Mujhe Taranaki, no? Meera Ke Prabhu Giritharanagar Palitigai Mori Nainanaki. The song of Meera perfectly, uh, you know, describes this. She says, now there is no ocean. So, Taranaki uh, fikar nahi hai. I don't even have to cross the ocean because the Guru has dried up the ocean. How did he dry up? By reversing my vision. Now I have a clear idea of Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya. What is Atma? What is Anatma? And I have gained this liberating knowledge. Anatma continues. Atma is ever there. And I am free from the confusion. That is the moha. That is exactly what Krishna is doing for. Arjuna in the Gita. So, Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. No? It's like, you know, that example of when we see the mirage waters in the desert. No? They are there as an empirical reality. You know, the, the hot sun rays reflecting off the sand. Then how did the mirage water disappear? How did it dry up? By your knowledge, right? By a knowledge that this is a phenomenon in nature. So by understanding, we understand that the sun does not really rise nor set. The earth is spinning. No? And mirage water is an appearance. No? So too, the jagat is an appearance in the Brahma Satyam. That is how Mama Varaya. So that is the thing. Fourth one. Now fifth one. Sukrate de krete bahudha bhavato bhavita samada shalala lasata atidina mimam paripala yamam bhavasham karade shikame sharanam. Here, let's break the sandhi. Sukrate adhikrate sati. This is our sati sapsani. And don't worry, other students. Sukrate adhikrate sati. Bahudha Bhavati Bhavato Yeah, Bhavato. So because that is Bhavataha, yours, Shashti. Bhavita Samadarshana Lalasata Ati Dinam Imam Paripalaya Mam Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. Yeah. So here, you know, again. Sotaka is saying that, let's take, uh, rearrange the words. Bhavataha samadarshana. Bhavataha means referring to the Guru's samadarshanam. What is samadarshanam? Equal vision. Means jnana nishtha. Samam sarveshu bhuteshu tishtantam parameshwaram. Gita, chapter 13. That is, you are a samadarshi. Like so many other jnanis, yeah? your samadarshanam or your pure knowledge, your jnana nishtha, bhavataha samadarshana, lalasata means commitment. Commitment means you are abiding in that nishtha. Bhavataha samadarshana lalasata. No? By that, what? 
सुकृते अधिकृते बहुधा भविता हूज सुकृत सुकृत इज द वन सुकृत मीन्स पुण्यम या सो फॉर द वन हू हेज डन लॉट ऑफ पुण्य कर्मांस इज अ सुकृत and because of the punyam resulting from the punya karmas like yagna dan and tapas yatra ityadi now that person has become adhikrita adhikrita means eligible qualified student now he is ready to get the guru so sukrite adhikrite bahudha bhavatah bhavita samadarshana lala tata so what this means is that you know um bhavita means will become na? so your nishtha your knowledge your samadarshanam will definitely take root take place in the people who are doing what punya karmas who are karma yogis who are serving the guru who are doing loka sangraha and who have gained the adhikaritvam what the meaning sukrite adhikrite bahuda in various ways your bhavatah samadarshana lalasa lalasata bhavita will definitely you know be implanted in all these people that's the idea okay you have to reshuffle those uh, words yeah <clears throat> then what so what this means is those who are doing um, you know karmas सात्विक कर्मास वाय आर दे डूइंग दैट निष्काम सात्विक कर्मास फॉर चित्त शुद्धि बट शंकराचार्य ने विवेक चिडामणि मेक्स वेरी क्लियर चित्त शुद्ध ये कर्म कोटि भी ही कर्म भी ही मोक्ष न लभ्यते यू कैन नॉट गेट मोक्ष इवन इन क्रोर्स ऑफ जन्मस ऑफ कर्मास सो व्हाट इज कर्म फॉर चित्त शुद्ध ये to have a purified studied mind and in that mind the guru can place the jeeva ishvara aikya gnanam yeah? so that is all the root is mentioned here then the third line is um, you know so what ati dinam imam paripalaya mam no again is pleading totakacharya paripalaya you please protect me yeah because i am ati dina ati dhina means helpless i am drowning in samsara and i don't know what to do yeah so you should bless me and how should the guru bless such a ati dhina in two ways <laughs> but before that sotaka is saying make me qualified <laughs> so you bless me to qualify myself in order to become an adhikari and then give me the gnanam and gnanameva moksha ha yeah? what a beautiful sentiment no a pure bhakti very rare to find no so that is why it is said that you know the only obstacle to receiving the knowledge is the intellect you know we find intellectual uh, students or people you know who may be very accomplished but the ego will not bend to touch the feet and uh, it will ask why should i surrender to the guru why should i do shravanam you know i can uh, go to youtube lectures you know social media so pujya swami ji will say you know as a child if you had had dominating parents later on you will find it difficult to surrender to a guru <laughs> because it's a childhood phenomena no because we are scared of am i being manipulated by the guru why the guru is asking me do this do that don't do this <laughs> that is the idea here huh? but look at totaka fearlessly completely he has surrendered and that surrender that true bhakti uh, does the magic what is the magic really the magic is it peels off the layers of the mind it opens the doors in our own mind to allow the knowledge to seep in that is the role of bhakti does not mean that you know we just we will be happily washing clothes back home and the knowledge will enter my mind <laughs> guru seva has to be done but it should bring us to the gnana dwaram no we have to attend classes regularly and consistently for the transformation to happen that is the idea bhava shankara deshika 
me sharanam yeah then sixth shloka yeah jagati mavitum kalita kritayo vicharanti maha mahasa chalatah ahimam shurivatra vibhasi guru bhav shankar deshika me sharanam now here totakacharya is looking upon shankara as an avatar uh, avatar means avatarti iti avatar the descent of bhagwan we have seen that in the gita also avatars are special manifestations uh, when bhagwan assumes maya shariram in, uh, in response to the fervent pleas of the afflicted devotees uh, the troubled sadhanas in order to paritnaya sadhanam vinashay dushkritam sambhavami yuge that is what is mentioning now jagatim uh, avitum av dhatu av means to protect avati rakshati iti om remember om is derived as avati rakshati iti om om protects us Can you all hear me? No videos, but I don't know if they can hear me. <laughs> I'm trying to connect to this. No, at home I have a Wi-Fi, no? Can you hear me now? Okay, good. Some problem with the internet? Yeah. Recording business. So, Jagatim Avitum, I was explaining. No? Avdhatu means to protect. Yeah? So, in order to, Avitum, Tumun Prateya, here, protect what? Jagatim. Jagat. In order to protect the Jagat, what? Kalita. Kalita akrita yaha vicharanti maha mahasaha chalataha. So, what uh, Sotaka is trying to tell here is that, you know, great souls, great Mahatmas, what do they do? They vicharanti, they move about in the world in disguise. <laughs> chalataha. Chalataha means as though deceptively. Yeah. Means we don't know them that they are really Bhagavan, you know. So, in disguise means as an avatara, as Sri Rama, Krishna, Matsya, Kurma, all these, Bhagavan, you are, uh, you know, you appear in these various forms, special forms, avataras, chalataha. And because you are maha mahasaha, maha mahasaha means the jnanis, the great souls, vicharanti, kalita akritaya. 
taking an akriti that is special you know we all have seen how an avatara you know they don't have a pancha bhautikam shariram like us our shariram is born because of we have to exhaust karma phalam but avatara shariram is for the sake of protection and upliftment of the devotees and then they simply withdraw it back also no so that panchi karanam and all that step is skipped for the avataras <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that is how a jiva is different from an avatar. Yeah, but for a shishya, you know, a guru is none other than avatar. <laughs> now the guru will humbly say, "This is my last janma, and uh, you know, I am also born to these parents." Now, but shishya is glorifying the guru and saying, "You are the avatar. You are Bhagawan himself," and that is the. Uh, it is no uh, exaggeration expressing the guru bhakti. Yeah, and we know that Shankara's guru Govinda Padananda must be so great, right? And so, for every shishya, his or her guru is the greatest. That is the bhavana. So, jagatim avitom kalita krtaya vicharanti maha mahasachchanata. Huh? And then, uh, Sotaka says, you know, that. Um, you know you are born to protect the world by upholding dharma and punishing the wicked yeah then hey guru vibhasi you are shining effulgently as ahimam shuri ahimam ahimam shuhu eva atra that word please put it like this ahimam shuhu eva atra atra means here you know in front of me totaka says as though you are ahimamshu very interesting word what is ahimamshu we'll break it up hima means snow amshu is rain so himamshu is the moon with a cooling rays himamshu is moon then the a uh in front negates it ahimamshu is now <laughs> sun <laughs> So Tortaka is saying, "You are, you know, shining effulgently, radiantly, vibhasi as Ahimam Shuhu, Eva Atra." Got it? Yeah. And so uh, praising the Guru, Bhava hmm? Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. Knowledge, yes. Yeah, exactly. You know the simple Tortaka. how he is able to form or uh, putting all the rules of samasa in a nunch uh, all these rules so um, you know that is the glory of bhakti in our bhakti literature there are so many such instances no where the mind is just transformed because the heart is so open six guru pungava pungava ketanate samatamayata nahi kopi sudhi लिटरल मीनिंग इज बुल मीन मेन साउ स्पीशीज इन दीशीज बुल इज अव now pongavaha is one which always uh, will be standing out right foremost in a herd you will see the bull first lots of cows will be there so um, you know in uh, geeta also bhagwan says no to arjuna you are uh, risha purusharshabha purushanam rishabha you are the bull amongst all the men so get up utishta yudhyasva fight to induce courage and here totaka is praising the guru as you are like the bull foremost among all the gurus hey guru pungava then say hey, say hey means tava your what is your special uh, you know what is that they call insignia a symbol what is your indicator bull <laughs> the bull is a sign for shiva you know so when there is a uh, ketana Ketana means dwaja here. Dwaja means flag. 
So let me give you an example, South Bhaja. No? Uh, Uttishta, Uttishta, Govinda, Uttishta, Garuda, Bhaja. Referring to Narayana, Mahavishnu. Yeah? Then Rishabad Bhaja, Shiva. Kapit Bhaja, Arjuna. Kapit Bhaja, Chapter 1, Gita. The one who had the Kapi Hanumanji on his flag. Chariot flag is a Kapit Bhaja. So here the Guru is called Pungava Ketana. That means the one who has the bull on his flag. <laughs> flag means what? Your a special symbol. So you are Shankara. No? You are this great avatara Shankara. Hey Pungava Ketana. Hey Guru Pungava. Hey, hey means Tava. For you is this special symbol. Yeah? And you are the great one. Yeah? Then uh, Samatam Ayatam Nahi Kopi Sudhihi. See, samatam. Samatam means all those who have the nirdosham samam brahma jnanam. Nirdosham hi samam brahma comes in the Gita. So, brahma is samam in all. We know this, right? So, from all the wise jnanis who have the samadarshanam, nahi kopi sudhihi. <laughs> Nobody is so brilliant and intelligent as you. Saha api sudihi? No. So, uh, does not mean that others are less intelligent, you know. All the samadashis are equally intelligent, right? But uh, Shishya is praising the Guru. That there is no one as radiant and, uh, you know, uh, wise as you. Hmm? Ayata means who have attained. So samatam, ayatam, of all those who, who attained or gained the samadarshanam, nobody is as brilliant, effulgent as you. Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. Ah, yeah. huh, yes. Sharana Gata Vatsala Tatvanide. Sambodhana, both words. You know, you are Tatvanide. Means you are the treasure of the tattvam. Very simple. Then you are Sharanagata Vatsala. You are the one who bestows affection, Vatsalyam, on those who have surrendered to you. Now, will the Guru only bless those who have surrendered to him or her? <laughs> no. Guru is blessing everybody. Yeah? The whole world. No? It is said that, you know, if you have flowers in the garden and a pleasant Vasanta Ritu, in Viveka Chudamani, there is a shloka. It is because there are hidden springs of water. No? There's a Tirukural, no? Even if one person is uh, good, it will rain for that person. So the gurus, you know, they are silently blessing the whole world. And they will, of course, openly bless to those shishyas who are hungering for the liberating knowledge. But they bless all. But here, address as Sharanagata Vatsala, like the Sri Rama also. No? Sri Rama also is uh, so accommodating. No? Remember, he says uh, to Ravana also, when he is disarmed, he says, go back, <laughs> rest, and come back again. Why? Because Rama, Sri Rama is giving Ravana one more chance. Maybe he will return Sita. Maybe Sadbuti will come into his mind. But no. <laughs> so that is the nature of uh, Mahan. You know, they will overlook the defects and they're always ready to bless and protect the devotees. And especially those uh, shishyas who want this knowledge, they will be blessed with the knowledge. Yeah. And others also will be blessed in various ways financially, psychologically, you know, all these ways. So that was uh, number. Seven also over. And now we come to the last verse. And again, utter humility is expressed here. Viditana maya vishadai sakala nahikinchana kanchana masti guru drutameva vidhi hi krepaam sahajam bhavasham paradeshikame sharanam. Now, here. <laughs> What does Sotaka says? He says, 
look at all your shishya sureshwaracharya padmapada hastamalaka they're all a1 champions in vyakaranam bhashya tarka you know shadangas and where am i maya na vishad ek api kala na vidhita <laughs> i don't know even one kala one discipline of knowledge i don't know any art i don't know how to put rangoli before your kutia you know or i don't know apravidya definitely no paravidya is there for me vyakaranam no i don't know na vidita and i have not mastered any of the shadangas yeah <clears throat> then what else nahi nacha kinchana kanchanam api asti hey guru i am sorry but i cannot offer any dakshina also to you kanchanam nasti gold illa you know and panam illa i cannot fund your travels through bharat desha i cannot help you build ashramas or support aim for seva like institutions you know kinchana i am not wealthy but i what one thing i can do surrender <laughs> i can offer my heart to you you know totally without any reservation so what rutameva vidhehi kripam sahajam so what you should do guru vidhehi vidhehi means shower bless how to bless bless with what kripam you know shower me with your kripa and that kripa which is sahaja sahaja means it is so natural to you you know you are an embodiment karuna varunalaya so you are kripa sagara so you can do this much for me so vidhehi no and when you should do this drutameva <laughs> druta means instantly <laughs> you know i thought this is the age of instant mixes instant maggi noodles <laughs> instant this now in those times also shishya is saying instantly you bestow your kripa and transform you no know? see how it comes from the heart so despite all my drawbacks you know i don't have this i don't have that i have only a simple pure heart i can do guru seva and so you overlook all my shortcomings you know and then bless me with the knowledge in two ways make me qualified first and then give me the param gnanam you know and then swami ji puja swami ji would also say you know just like the sun ahimamshu or chandra you know do they discriminate on whom they want to shine on sun will shine in the ganga where it looks like diamonds you know sparkling then it will shine on the gutter water also equally so you are like that you know samadarshi sun or the moon you are capable of blessing and showering your compassion on all equally yeah bhava shankara deshika me sharanam yeah so uh, you be my compass you be my anchor you be my refuge yeah? so such is uh, the beauty of the stotram and you can see how loaded it is with bhakti and with sanskritam also isn't it sanskritam comes out so beautifully in this you know and like a child how the child demands protection from the mother you know i told you that marjal and nyaya how the baby kitten is not worried at all it will be transported by the mother from place to place and it does not have to cling like the markata <laughs> markata so uh, we see that um, you know this is the grace of the guru yeah? and uh, true surrender does this magic you know so whatever uh, guru seva or uh, guru bhakti we can express to a guru we must do it for sake of gnanam exactly for the sake of this vidya in whatever way we can you know times are different you know and uh, maybe in the vedic times one did guru seva shushrusha in a different way they would collect firewood and clean the kutia and prepare lunch also for them you know and uh, it changes from time to time you know so whatever way you can express your guru bhakti do it because 
uh, that will uh, you know enable the bonding between the guru otherwise it dries up you know that is why i always say communicate more you know you ask questions and um, you know you can praise the guru also see the guru does not need uh, students praise <laughs> you know because the guru is fullness guru is not going to be flattered it's like you know i take a candle or a deepam and do aarti to the sun <laughs> you know the sun doesn't care so like that um, you know this uh, ego will always try to resist you know and uh, but um, when we have this bhakti to do pada puja to do seva to surrender to do shravanam mananam nididhyasanam that is how the sapling of the guru bhakti will grow in our heart you know and that is going to clear the avaranams and open the mind to receive the knowledge the higher knowledge you know i will end with that uh, you know how in the bhagavatam you know there is the uddhava gita 11th skanda of the bhagavatam no where uh, at the end of the dwapara yuga krishna is ready to withdraw his uh, you know uh, body and uddhava is feeling very sad <laughs> then uh, krishna says why don't you go and pay a visit to the gopis in vrindavan <laughs> gopis <laughs> those milkmen those silly milkmen <laughs> what can they teach me you know they are just uh, mil- uh, you know a uh, churning butter and singing songs and dancing rasalilas <laughs> and all that no no just doesn't matter go and pay a visit and uh, uddhava is a dear friend of krishna he goes and what does he see there the gopis are all immersed in the guru bhakti no each one of them is dancing with the krishna yeah so uh, because krishna is a non dual ananda amrita atma so they are all drinking in the nectar of atma yeah so when he sees that you know then he understands what is true sharanagati and what is the jiva ishvara aikya gnanam and then uh, he says you know he does a namaskara to them and says you know you are my gurus and it is said the gopis were all uh, yoga bhrashtas in this life because they were mahan rishis in the past and then one more birth they came very close to krishna and got the wisdom and then uh, they become free and that uh, the gopika geetam you must have heard gopika geetam is a dance of ecstasy ecstasy of that uh, ಶುಭಮಸ್ತು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಕಾಳೇ ವರ್ಷತು ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯ ಪೃಥಿವೀರ್ಥ ಶಾಲಿನಿ ಶೋಭರಹಿತ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಸಂತು ನಿರ್ಭಯ ಸುಖಿನ ಸಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಭದ್ರಿ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಮಾ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ ದುಃಖ ಭಾಗ್ ಭೇತ್ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ಸಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತಂಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೋದಕ್ಷತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ